right, I'm back again. This is the uh, second uh, lecture, well, the second lecture in this series, not lecture, discussion would be a, a better way of, of uh, describing what I do, uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, but it is number two in, in maybe a two or three part series uh, talking about making sense of the quantum numbers. So I'm just going to kind of take off uh, right where I left off from the first uh, discussion. If you need to go ahead and, and refresh yourself, I would definitely recommend that you take a look at the uh, the initial lecture, or not lecture, I uh, apologize for saying that, but the initial discussion that um, I gave on quantum numbers, and then there was another discussion uh, called Quantum Numbers 2, where I actually started making sense of, of what these mean, where they go, uh, and I took you through the N equals 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on, and I'm going to give you, uh, guys, N equals 2. So here we have our n, our principal quantum number, um, our l, our m sub s, so the magnetic orbital number, the m sub l, I apologize, and then the m sub s. All right, well, let's go ahead and just say that we are talking about 2. And remember, when I talk about my principal quantum number, the n number, I'm talking about the period, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm talking about that, the primary level of energy. Okay. When we start having numbers greater than one, uh, we have to kind of figure this out. And this is kind of what I do to help simplify it a little bit. I look at my L and I go, okay, my L is going to start at N minus one. So N minus one equals my L. That's where I start. So N minus one, two subtract one is one. And then I also have zero. Okay? All right. And then we go ahead and we talk about um, the m sub l, or the uh, magnetic number, the shape of the orbital. Well, very similar concept applies here with the m sub l. Um, I start at n minus 1, and I make that number negative, and then work my way up to the positive number. Let me just show you how that works. So, in this case, I'm going to start at negative 1, 0, and then positive 1. And then for 0, of course, uh, just like n equals 1, 0 is 0, so that's pretty easy. m sub s is really easy because I only have two values for this spin. I have plus 1 half and minus 1 half. And then the same applies here, plus 1 half, minus 1 half. All right, and those are all the different configurations of quantum numbers for the n equals 2 state. Uh, if you guys remember, from the n equals 1 state, I had a total of two electrons that could go in that state. Uh, the n equals 2 state that we have here. So I have my two electrons here. And the way, the quick easy way that I look at doing each row is I take my m sub l and multiply each one by 2 because I have that spin there. So 2, 4, 6, so I have 6 in this row. And then I have 2 in this row here, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So I have 2 electrons here, and I have 8 electrons if my n equals 2. So 2, 8, and we'll just work our, our way up from there. All right, so that's n equals 2. Well, let's take a look at n equals 3. So my n, L, M sub L, going to be bigger, and M sub S, the spin. Okay, so N equals 3. So we're talking about period 3 now. Well, just N subtract 1 equals 2, so that's where I'm going to start with my L. 2, 1, 0. And then my M L, again, N subtract 1 is 2, put a negative in front of that, so negative 2 negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. All right, negative 1, 0, and 1, and then 0. Spin never changes, plus 1 half or minus 1 half, and that applies. All right, so how many electrons do we have here? Well, I've got my 2 here, I've got my 6 there for 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so I have a total of 18. So n equals 1 gives me 2, 
n equals 2 gives me 8. n equals 3 gives me 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Plus 8 is, didn't see that, right? 18. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just keep on uh, working our way on down. Let's take a look at the n equals 4. So period 4. <clears throat> All right, so I've got my N, L, M sub L, and M sub S. Okay, N equals 4. What do I do? N subtract 1 equals 3, right? 4 subtract 1, so I start at 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, and then there you go, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and 0. And of course, plus 1 half, minus 1 half. And that applies all the way down. So how many electrons do I have in the n equals 4? Well, I have 32. So 2, oops. So just to recap, n equals 1 gives me 2 electrons. n equals 2 gives me how many electrons, if you remember? 8. Okay, n equals 3 gives me how many electrons? 18. And n equals 4 is going to give me 32 electrons. Okay, so 2, 8, 18, 32. And let's just go ahead and do one more. Uh, again, I hope you guys kind of see uh, kind of the pattern that's developed here. And you should be able to do this for any given n number. <clears throat> so n equals 5 L m sub l and m sub s spin. Okay, so by n subtract 1 is 4, so 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, and 0, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 0, plus or minus 1 half spin all the way down. Okay, how many electrons do I have here? Well, I have about 50, or I have 50. All right, so hopefully that kind of makes sense, and you can kind of make sense of all those. All right, so there's a really cool formula that actually comes from all this. And what the formula is, it's pretty easy, very, very linear. Um, and it's how we calculate the number of electrons in each n number. And what it is is it's 2 multiplied by the square root, or not the square root, but the n number um, to the second power, n to the second power. Okay, so what did we say? Well, we said that... If n equals 1, I should have 2. If n equals 2, I should have 8. n equals 3, I should have 18. n equals 4, I should have 32 electrons. Well, let's just do the math real quick and make sure that formula works. So, 2 times 1 to the second power. So 1 times 1 is 1 times 2 equals 2. All right, so far so good. So two times two, so what's two times two? Four, two times two, two times four rather is eight. All right, so far so good. Well, let's just keep working our way down here. So n equals three. So two times and three is, three times three is nine. Two times nine is 18. All right, looking good. And we'll do one more just to make sure. All right, two times. 4 to the second. Well, what's 4 times 4? 16. What's 2 times 16? 32. So, 2 into the second, good formula, works out well. Alright, and let's just go ahead.